But let's get this vlog started and I'm going to start it by showing you my trainer collection. This is where I keep the trainers then. I ain't looking for a ring because I got what I want. I ain't looking for a ring because I got... Welcome back to another vlog. So, it's Tuesday the 4th of July. So happy 4th of July to all you American guys out there who watch the vlog. Um, today, I'm just going through a normal day. I'm trying to get my back diet back on track because for the past few days, I'm not going to lie to you, it's not been on point. But it's less than two weeks till I go on holiday now, so it, I need to make sure I'm smashing it. So two weeks, I'm going pretty hardcore on it, um, being pretty strict, counting the calories down to a T, doing cardio, and yeah. But to be fair, I think I feel like I'm still looking pretty good. So we've got 13 days left of this mini cut. Excuse this fluffy hair, but let's get this vlog started. And I'm gonna start it by showing you my trainer collection. So I know a lot of people actually like like trainers or crepes, so crepe check became quite a big thing. So I've always had a big collection of trainers and I've always been a massive fan of them. I started collecting them when I was like 15, 16. It's just always something been quite appealing about them. So I'm gonna go upstairs now and show you my trainer collection. So before I show you my trainers, I just thought I'd quickly, I'm just checking my stock of the uh, Grey Joggers because I'm thinking I'm going to put a sale on. So let me see how many pairs I've got left. I've, I've like got about two t-shirts left, that's it. So this is why the new order will be being placed soon. Um, but on this new order, I think I'm actually going to do it as a pre-order just because, so say I put a pre-order on all my social media, so Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, on here obviously, then you can basically place an order, but I don't have to buy a massive quantity of stock and like guess. So basically, last time when I placed for my first order, I'm basically guessing as to what people are gonna buy. And I sold out of smaller mediums, like dead, dead quick, but like large and XLs, I still got quite a few of, so. I would have sold more if I had more smalls and mediums, which is a bit annoying. So I'm going to do it as a pre-order, so you can basically send me a DM or go onto the website and basically confirm that you're going to buy this for this amount, and then I can just order a certain amount depending on how many orders I get. So there's less, so that's like upfront cost involved. Yeah, it might take a little bit more work, but I think it will be worth it for this next one. So I'm not sure when I'm going to launch next, maybe August, something like that, but let's see how many of these I've got left. Also going to be doing quite a big giveaway, so check out the Facebook page, Soul Fit Clothing. I'll put the link like on the screen here, but I'll be doing a giveaway on caps, so I'm trying to give away quite a few caps, and maybe a few t-shirts as well, so if you, all you have to do to enter is like the page, tag a friend, and then just like comment on what, what your favourite colour is in. This is where I keep the trainers then. Or sneakers, as you American guys call it. So, got quite a few pairs. This was specifically designed just for my trainers, this little like stand bit. So we'll start up here. We've got Flying It Racer, my favourite trainer that I've, that I've owned. It has to be this one. It, there's just something about the look of it. It's just proper, proper cool. And they're on sale at the minute at night, but I'm just not sure whether I can justify another pair. Because I've got like four pairs. So I've got the triple black, the um, crimson blue and white. Then we've got these. Just like a nice black Cortez. I think they're on offer, like 50 quid. Quite cool. Then we're moving down to the fly knits. We've got Flyknit 3.0s. I've got three pairs of these. There's another pair actually downstairs. So we've got bright orange. Got the, as you can probably tell, my favorite color is like blue. Got blue. And then we've got the Flyknit. Actually, these are 3.0s and these are the 4.0s. These were the first Flyknits I ever owned. This style, they were so com they're so comfy, man. You just slip them on and like, you're away. These ones are as comfy, but they're a bit more like an elf shoe. 
these ones are like the newer version of the 4.0 so it's like the upgraded version but in my opinion they're not as comfy so I hardly wear these I might have to sell them they're, they're actually not as comfy I love the colour it's not as comfy I've got another pair of fly knits they should be up there really in the superior so these these need a clean but I love these Adidas Los Angeles in navy and white they're a proper cool casual shoe wear with a pair of jeans or joggers and we've got them in black as well moving down <laughs> my fake Yeezys man these are so joke I picked these up for 20 euros in Spain last year <laughs> look at the easy thing. <laughs> That's so funny. 20 euros off. Oh, I'll just grip some, see what they're like. They're alright. We've got a ZX Flux ADV triple white. I really like these for holiday. They need a wash, but really nice. Then behind, got the Gazelle OG in like blue. Really nice casual shoe with a pair of jeans in maroon as well. I like them, they're dead comfy then, the OGs. And then the usual, we've got Converse, black canvas, white leather, they need cleaning, pretty bad. Behind, we've got a Puma SF77. These are very, very OG, they're about six years old, but they still, they still just keep them there at the back. And then, we've got a New Balance 410, I think they are. Yeah, 410. They're pretty cool as well. I did I did used to have so much more, but I had to sell them because I wasn't getting the use. I only buy a pair of trainers now if I really, really like them. These are another pair of fly knits, the grey. They're pretty cool. I've got a Shadow Tubular. And they're probably my new favourite trainer. I got them about... I got them when I was in Lanzarote a few months ago. And they are my favourite trainer at the minute, but they need cleaning. Because when I was running on that field the other day and there was cows. So yeah, these are sick. I really, really like these. A proper casual shoe. But dead, dead comfy. And then we've got the other black fly knits as well. These are the OGs. Proper comfy. That's my trainer collection. I did used to have more. What I'm doing at the minute is, this is my sister. She was a, being a bit of a model for me. Um, I took some pictures last week. And I'm just editing them in Lightroom for the social medias. So as you can see, let me go on to... Now this one's got the edit on it. That's how it looked before. See how it just brings up the colours a little bit. Lightroom's really essential in my opinion. Just to, to bring up that professional look and just make it look very high quality. But yeah, just, just be on here for a bit and then I'll make it into a collage. Um saying like free giveaway um, and then I'll, I might even post it to Facebook today but a bit later on see what the feedback and response is hopefully we can get a bit of traffic to the website and just making the usual breakfast if you guys watched me before you'll know that I have the egg whites omelette I'm making it scramble today and we've got one whole egg put a little bit of cheese in and we've got two slices of low carb bread toasted go and we've got the four slices of bacon medallions this is like my go-to breakfast nearly every day for the first time i put red cabbage in my egg whites usually i put red onion and pepper but look at this it looks very weird what it doesn't look appetizing but i bet it'll taste pretty nice you know that is worse that <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to eat this and then I'll head to work guys and catch up with you in a bit. Four o'clock, just finished work. Now time to head to the gym. Let's go. Where are you going? No? Yeah, yeah. No. Where are you been? See you tomorrow. See you later. See you later, mate.
shoulders and triceps today. Starting off with incline bench press because you've got to stick to them staple movements and I really want to focus on the upper chest. An incline bench I feel is just the best. Six to eight reps, let's go. gym hit a good session to be fair and i did 25 minutes on the stairmaster which is good just um gonna get my tea now and then i've got quite a lot to do um i've got quite a lot of business stuff to do all the social media for sulfur my personal brand um edit this video try and get that up get a thumbnail oh lots of stuff to do let's get cracking i've just posted something to facebook asking people if they like it with or without the clothing my thoughts are like without the clothing but mum and dad said they like it with just not sure if that's like because they're a bit older <gasps> but <laughs> my mum's there <laughs> um, and I've just put it on my snapchat and a few people have just sent it to me without clothing as well because it looks a bit more simple but see what people get the gist of and then obviously gauge the next launch from that So now it's about quarter past nine at night and I'm just working on all social media platforms. So I've just posted on Facebook for Soulfit. I've just uh, posted on Instagram for myself. Pretty good post, go check it out. It's pretty insightful. And yeah, I'm just on the laptop, just doing a bit of work. To be honest, on most days I don't actually stop working until pretty late at night. Got to, you've got to hustle, haven't you? Especially when it's the beginning and the start of stuff. So there's so much exciting stuff to come. There's a sale on Sulfit clothing. So the joggers were thirty pounds. Now they're twenty four. T-shirts were twenty. Now they're sixteen. So if you want to check out, the link is in the description. But I'm not going to force anybody to buy. Um, but yeah, just got to do a bit more work, and I'll start editing this vlog today. And then I'm going to make pancakes for my last meal. And yeah, that's going to be my day, basically. So, just finishing off the day. It's quarter to 11 at night. And I'm having a massive stack of pancakes. But Josh, how can you have pancakes and st whilst you're on a cut and still lose fat? Simple. Total daily calorie intake. As long as I'm in a caloric surplus, I can still eat the foods I love. And plus, these are like healthy pancakes. It's my own recipe, so I know everything that's in it and the macros are actually insane. Anyway, I'm gonna tuck into this. I hope you've enjoyed this different style of vlog today. I've enjoyed filming it, as always. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe because there's gonna be a lot of good content coming. I'm going to California, I'm going to Marbella in the next few weeks. And as always, trying to keep them gains. Always fitness related. Anyway, click that share button below to a friend who might enjoy this, give it a like, and I'll catch you on the next video. See you later.